This is Mongoose Jake here. Now I'm going to show you the WTB Laser V saddle. This is a widely used saddle. It offers a little more width than the Pure V. I use this on my urban bikes as well as on my city bike in single speed, which here soon I will have a, up another bike video. I will show you back here. This saddle here as you can see the love they what they call the love channel it is deeper offers more relief the saddle is softer and a little wider this bike's rigid of course this is the mongoose paver that i've been upgrading and showing you videos of and with being a rigid i went with a little more cushion than my favorite mountain bike saddle the pure v now this saddle I actually got this very cheap on eBay. I only spent about $15 on the saddle, so, and that was including shipping. So I got a past year's model, but this is the race version again that has the chromoly rails. Now this is a little bit heavier than the Pure V, but not too much to where you would actually have to worry about it. it does have abrasion resistant corners. You see this one has a contrast stitching. It doesn't have the color options. That the pure v has like i have one pure v that has a chrome strip coming down the side and if you look i'm posting a video today of the one on my tax that has a red strip the laser v does not have those options but this is actually a good saddle for a beginner offers a little more padding a little more forgiveness and if you notice i'm gonna take a quick glance over here to the pure v in a second notice the profile it is less flared a little bit wider a little bit rounder with somewhat of a shorter front to back profile over here to the pure v you can see the difference you can see the more defined flare it's a little bit narrower a little bit longer but back to the laser v this one a little bit softer padding a little bit wider rear end with less of a flare makes it easier to go over the back that's why sometimes this laser v is popular among free riders and dirt jumpers because you can get over the back very easy even downhillers tend to like this saddle which is actually where my background is was in downhill and free ride but good saddle for beginners or those looking for a little more plushness than what the pure v has but the pure v is still my favorite this is a close second and as you can see i tend to use it for city bikes and urban bikes which just as a hint, here in a couple weeks, I'm going to have up another bike video for you guys. But on the saddle here, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the section below and I will get to them.